Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add Google Translate to your Blogger website. So we will add it just over here at the top of our website. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is to go to the dashboard of your Blogger website and uh, here we can see that I'm using this theme called Contempo Light. And then you have to go over here to Layout. And then you have to add a gadget. So let's click on add a gadget. And here you have to scroll down and uh, you have to select this option called translate. So let's select this. And here I'll just select uh, this option called horizontal. And I'll just leave everything as it is. And let's click on save. Right now this widget has been added over here on the sidebar. So if you go to our website and if I refresh this page, now if I click on this menu icon here we can see that we have the translate widget displayed over here and if I click on this select language drop down and if I select any of these languages the whole website will be translated into that language. So I just select uh, Hindi and now we can see that the text of our website is translated into Hindi. You can also open any of these uh, posts and uh, all the content of the post will be translated into the selected language. Right now we just have some dummy text so we don't have the correct translation over here. But if you have some real meaningful text then uh, the translation will be better. So now if I just close this and uh, now we can see that it is uh, gone back to the default language. Now here uh, if you go to this uh, menu icon we can see that the translate widget is uh, inside this sidebar. Now let's see how to add this translate widget over here at the top of our website so that it will be accessible easily to the user. So for that let's go back to our dashboard and let's go to theme and let's go to the theme code. So let's click on edit html and now let's go ahead and see what is uh, the selector for this widget. So if I right click over here and if I go to inspect here we can see we have this widget and uh, it has an ID of translate one. So we can go ahead and add some CSS and bring it over here at the top. So let's do that. Let's go back to our theme code and let's go to the CSS. And this is all the CSS of our theme. Let's go to the end. And here we have the end of the CSS. So let's go ahead and uh, let's create a comment. I'll just type translate widget. And uh, let's go ahead and target the translate one ID. So let's tap hash translate one and let's add some styles over here. First of all, let's go ahead and uh, set the position to fixed. And uh, let's add a background color and let's set it to white. And let's go ahead and uh, set the top position to zero. And let's set the left position to 50%. And uh, now if we go back to our website, let's go ahead and save this. And let's go back to our website and uh, let's refresh this page. Now the translate widget is not being displayed over here but if I click on this menu icon it is displayed over here. So what we will do is we'll just move it from the sidebar to a different location. So let's go back to layout and uh, let's just drag this from here and I'll just drop it over here inside search and uh, let's click on save. And now let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And now we can see that the translate widget is displayed over here. Now it is not exactly in the center. It is starting from the center. So for that you have to go back to your theme code. And let's go to the CSS. And here you have to type transform translate x minus 50%. And now if I save this. And now if you go back to our website. Now we can see that the translate widget is exactly in the center. Now let's add some padding as well and we'll also add some box shadow. So here let's type padding and let's set the padding to 4 pixels top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right. And let's add a box shadow and let's set the values to 0, 4 pixels, 40 pixels, negative 4 pixels, RGBA, 0, 0, 0 and 0 0.2. And we also add border radius 
to have rounded corners and for top right and top left I'll just type 0 and for the bottom I'll just type 10 pixels and 10 pixels and let's save this and let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and now we can see this is how it looks now let's go ahead and uh, bring this uh, drop down on the left side and this text on the right side so further let's uh, inspect this element so I'll just right click and click on inspect and uh, here we can see inside the widget we have this title so we can also delete this title from our theme code so let's do that first of all let's go back to our theme code and uh, let's just click on this button called jump to widget and uh, let's click on translate one and here we have the widget so I'll just go ahead and delete this title from here so you can just delete this line of code widget title and uh, let's go back and uh, if we take a look at this uh, code here we can see we have this division with the class of google translate element and in that we have another division with the class of skip translate and in skip translate we have this division for the drop down and then we have this text and then we have the google translate logo so I'll just go ahead and select this division right here with the class of skip translate and let's set the display to flex so that the elements are one next to the other so let's go back to the CSS and here let's type dot skip translate and let's type display of flex and let's set the align items to the center and we'll add a gap of 8 pixels between the elements and let's click on save and now let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and now we can see that we have the correct styling and uh, we have the correct gap between the elements and uh, let's select a language so this time I'll just select Arabic and here we can see that all the content is uh, translated into Arabic so that's basically how you can add Google Translate to your blogger website and if you go to any of these posts you still have this uh, Google Translate widget over here. Alright, so that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.